All right, let's go ahead and look at evaluating expressions. So the I can is I can evaluate expressions. Now initially you're probably gonna be like, oh my goodness, evaluate expressions are two big E math words, really not sure what they mean, but let's quickly break it down. So evaluate means to find the value. An expression has numbers and operation symbol, but an expression does not have an equal sign. An equation has an equal sign, but an expression does not. All right, and before we talk further about evaluating expressions, let's go ahead and differentiate the difference between numbers and operations. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll stop right there. Operations will have um, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. All right, and then before we even start to evaluate expressions, we also have to look at the order of operations. So some people learned it in school as, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And it's not really what it means, it's just a mnemonic to remember how to solve expressions, excuse me, find the value of expressions. We have this order, and this order helps us remember. So we have parentheses first, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Now one thing to consider, which is very important, is the first thing you always evaluate are parentheses. The second are exponents. Multiplication and division are actually in the same grouping. They're third. The only way to see which one comes first, if you have multiplication and division, you start from left to right. If division is here and multiplication is here, you do division first because it's further left. Same thing with addition and subtraction. That's fourth. So if subtraction was over here, you'd do that first because, or you'd evaluate first because it's from left to right. So really there's only one, two, three, four steps because multiplication and division, you would evaluate de first depending on which is further left and addition and subtraction, same thing. And we'll look at some of those problems. Okay, let's do some examples. Cap these so they don't dry out. Let's look at A first and we'll get a simple problem or expression. Two times five plus eight. So whenever I solve four of operations, one thing I always like my students to do is to find the operations. So I have multiplication and addition. I have two operations. That means I will be performing two operations. I'm going to multiply and I'm going to add. Now I have to follow the order. Are there any parentheses? Don't have to worry about it. There are no parentheses. Exponents. Nope. Multiplication and division. Yes, I have a multiplication symbol. Now the other one is addition. So no matter what, multiplication will become before addition. So I can go ahead and solve for that first. Underline the one operation you are solving. 2 times 5 is 10. Rewrite the rest of the expression. And then underline the next operation that you're completing. This is addition. So it's 18. Let's look at B. 2 times 5 plus 8. Now if you'll notice, 2, 2, 5, 5, 8, 8 times, times, plus, plus. Everything is identical except for the fact that this has parentheses. Now since it has parentheses following the order of operations, I know I have to solve for this first. So look at the operations. I have multiplication, addition, same thing. But now this expression is telling me to solve this first because it's in parentheses. 5 plus 8 is 13. Bring the rest of the expression down. And I have a multiplication operation. 2 times 13 is 26. Now clearly 18 and 26 are two very different numbers. And the only reason they, they are different is because of the parentheses. It's telling us to solve this first. You must use the order of operations when you're evaluating expressions. All right, let's look at a different one. We'll do B. Let's do 10 divided by 2 times 3. Okay, circle your operations. I have a division and a multiplication symbol. Any parentheses? Nope. Exponents? Nope. 
Multiplication? Yes. Division? Yes. Remember, multiplication and division, they're in the same grouping. So whichever comes first from left to right. Division is further left. I'm going to solve that first. Underline what you're solving for. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Bring down the rest of the expression. Underline the next operation. 5 times 3 is 15. All right, and the last one, oh, I wrote B twice. Silly, silly me. And we have D, A, B, C, D. All right, we'll do the same thing, but this time with addition and subtraction. Let's say I have 20 minus 10 plus three. I have two operations. I have subtraction and addition. No parentheses, no exponents, no multiplication or division. I did this intentionally. And looking at addition and subtraction, I will perform this operation first because it's further left, and addition and subtraction are in the same grouping. Underline the operation you're performing. Bring down the rest of the problem. Underline. And evaluate. So remember with evaluating expressions, evaluate means to find the value. Expressions has numbers, operations, but no equal sign. These are your numbers. Operations for fifth grade, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Parentheses are grouping symbols indicating what you have to evaluate first. An exponent is shorthand of multiplication, right? So this is included here. This is just which one you're doing first. And then the four operation symbols, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Remember PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, addition, and subtraction. And that's evaluating expressions.